Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. And today we're, you're going to get a quick guide on how to mine on Hive OS. So this is the first link you're going to need to go to Hive os.farm slash install or click down below and we're going to be downloading the gpu uh, install i download the zip but if you do torrents that may be going faster once you download that then all right so now once you are done downloading the uh image you'll click show in folder you'll right click and then click extract or unzip files click ok once they're done being unzipped, you can then open them up and boom, there's your image. So now you need a program to actually write images. I suggest Etcher, it's a, by a comp Balencia Etcher, B-A-L, yeah, there it is, Balencia Etcher. I'll put the link to download Etcher down below. It's a free program. So once that fires up, I'll show you how to actually use Etcher because it's super, super simple. Oh, and go ahead and make sure to plug your USB drive into your computer. Yes, plug that in. Um, USB 3.0 is suggested, but uh, not required. Makes things a little bit faster. Here's Etcher. Okay, so now we're gonna flash from file. So we click that. Then we go to our downloads. And then there's our hive. And then you click on the image that you just downloaded and extracted. Click open. Now select target. And we're gonna click on this Patriot memory USB device. It's an eight gig um, little USB flash drive. We're gonna select that and we're gonna click flash. So this will take a little bit, it'll flash and then it'll verify. And after it's all done, if everything's good, it'll say completed, no errors. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. All right, so one flash complete, successful. That's how you know you're good there. All right, so now you're gonna to need to make an account and log into Hive OS. Then you'll go to the top and click on plus. You'll click on new farm. Once you do that, save, done, everything's good to go. And I already have a farm, so then you click on your farm. Originally, or in the beginning, it'll have nothing. These are different rigs. Um, if you have nothing, it's your first one, you click up here, boom. Uh, add a worker, that's a new rig. The name is gonna be uh, 6x garage 2 because it's it's my second six times garage rig uh, no password no tags no description click add and make sure it did say GPU there all right then you'll need to download the rig dot conf this is your config file for the rig click that it will download and I'll show you a, a little trick over there where it see it does that parentheses 7 all right, so now that you have the rig config downloaded, you'll need to right click on it, show in folder, then you'll need to copy it, copy, and then go to this PC and look for, if the drive doesn't pop up, you may need to unplug it and uh, plug it back in. And there, it popped up now, Hive. So. When you open up Hive, it'll show up like this. Then you can paste the rig config file in here. But do note that if you have mul if you've downloaded rig the rig config files multiple times and it made like numbers and parentheses because there was a, a duplicate, you have to backspace those out of there. It has to read read rig.conf. All right, then that's good. We'll go ahead and close that out. We'll go downstairs and plug it into the rig. All right, so I am going to plug it into this machine right here, and then I'm going to power it on. Um, do note that, there we go, uh, note that different motherboards, different CPUs, different application, or uh, different, you know, setups will need, you might need to go into BIOS and set it to boot from the USB. But most modern motherboards, if you don't have any hard drive or SSD or anything else plugged in and just the USB, it will boot to the USB normally. So just note that, note it, note it. All right, uh, I'm gonna power it up and then we're gonna, get it, gonna go upstairs and see it come online. All right, so it hasn't even been a minute. I come back upstairs and 6X Garage 2 has come online. It's only showing two cards though and I have four cards installed. So one way that I like to try to figure out which cards aren't actually working is I set the cards that I can't actually see to 100% fan. Oh, I just hit my monitor. So when you go back downstairs, you can see which cards have like fans going crazy. 
those are the ones you know that are online and actually hashing and then the cards that are just spinning slow or not spinning at all you know uh, it's either a riser or something going on there all right and there she is up and running all four cards i went down there and i swapped out i had two suspect risers they were some of the old blue ones from years ago i just went ahead and put them on all u bits so they're all four happy and running um they all these have the hynix memory so you have to do the negative memory clock to get them up to the 31 mega hash um we are mining uh, Ethereum with these bad boys and at 75% fan and 85 on the power limit they're running not even 55 okay one of them is 55 Celsius the other are under 50 Celsius so super super uh, low power cards might be able to actually tune them back a little bit more but um now that the cards are actually up and running uh, I guess you won't see the mining first because you have to set up what's called a flight sheet so to set up a flight sheet, you just click on flight sheet, then you go over to flight sheets, and then add a new flight sheet. So you'll pick the coin, um, if you want to mine ETC, ETH, on down the list. If you want to mine two nice hash, you'll just click nice, nice hash, ETH hash, then wallet, you'll add a wallet, and that for a nice hash, that'll be your nice hash address. Um, if you're doing regular Ethereum, you'll uh, put your Ethereum wallet address in there. Then the pool. So um, a lot of people on NiceHash are like, hey, how do you do your uh, the nice the pool for NiceHash? And it's actually already filled in there for you. And uh, if I can figure out which one this is, oh, there it is. So you just go down to NiceHash, and then you click which pool you want, apply, and then you select the miner. So um, Pick your poison basically phoenix miner i like nb miner i've been using that lately and then you put a name on it you create flight sheet and then you can go back over to your workers then you click on your worker and you click on flight sheet and then your flight sheets will be down here and you just click on the rocket ship to actually implement it and load it in once it's loaded in what you go back to the overview of your worker and it will be up here so this one's running currently eth hash through nice hash motor nubs that's the wallet to nice hash so boom there she is i'm actually going to change my flight sheet over to the eth doge um yeah we'll launch that one up so i'll show you how to do that we just go and boom apply worker updated successfully so if you go to overview it'll be up there above and She's launching right now, and she'll start hashing away. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this answered some questions. If you still have some questions, please comment down below or join our Discord or Facebook group and ask in there. Until then, it's been fun, and it's been real, but I don't know if it's been real fun. Later, guys.